Hi Tewies, here's your Alexandra and welcome to the next painting tutorial. On several people's demand I will make a painting tutorial on my own chapter, The Wings of Fury. <coughs> so what you do first is base coating him. You base coat him with a black primer spray. And I'll be back when this is done. So Tewies, after uh, the primer is dry we will make the first very easy step. We dry brush the whole model in bolt gun metal. Very easy step. And uh, the main focus is to cover the whole marine in black. Uh, not, not in black, in silver. <coughs> so. Very easy to achieve. Nothing hard about it. So. And after that, we are done with this stage. <coughs> I will let that dry shortly and we will go on, go on to the next stage. And this stage will be paint the whole miniature with bottom up black wash. <laughs> Very simple. We are doing that because we want to have a nicer shadows than a dry brushed shadow. Washed shadow will look always much better then I dry brushed. So we dry brushed this miniature simply because of simplicity <coughs> or simplicity, how you want to call it. <coughs> it's an easy way to cover the whole thing in silver. So after the miniature has gotten his wash, you have to let him dry for several hours until it is completely dry. But I have done this previously and so don't get confused if I use a different marine now. <laughs> Here's the ink dryer, I've done this overnight. And let's go on with the paint job, shall we? So at this stage we start to apply the blue parts of the marine. For this instance I take Mordian Blue, the Games Workshop foundation color, simply because it has a very nice coverage ability over everything. <coughs> and the color will get unpainted very nice and even. So Followed by the knee pad, number one, knee pad number two, <coughs> and shoulder pad number two. paint over the shorter pad corners because we want to have them silver. So. Blue parts done. So now we are going to highlight it. And for this instance, uh, I must show you the pa palette. Um, I'm using blue green again for the highlight. <coughs> Put up a blob of paint right there. <coughs> and then what I do is I pick a little bit of this color. 
and mix it in. That's enough. A little bit of water. <coughs> Washing out the brush. And then we are good to go for highlighting purposes. <coughs> Start the knee pad. Always leave a little bit of the old color behind so you get a color transition. Oops, there I painted <coughs> on the backpack. But that's not a problem. We can fix that later when we will highlight the arm. Yes, even silver can be highlighted. <coughs> so, next step, a little bit more, <coughs> and we will go on. Doom -de -doom. <coughs> so, and now the final highlight, even more of this blue. Uh, now we work too fast, I have to let that dry first. <coughs> a hair dryer is always a handy tool. <laughs> then we paint in the last highlight. Then you have a color transition there. So, and the blue parts are done. will do now is highlighting the marine. So for that instance we take pure bolt gun metal, a little bit watered down, and then we take out the biggest areas and paint them straight in bolt gun metal again. I will take mainly the areas that are actually hit by light. So these areas will shine a little bit more than the others. Oh, I see we have <coughs> forgotten a blue part. Uh, on the last marine I have also painted in this part here of the backpack. Well, I will do that later. But now you know how to highlight. And we can go on with the paint job. So, and the helmet, front parts, so, that's for this step. Now, you take your mithril silver and mix in a 50-50 variant of this color with your bulk and metal. <coughs> and then, we will highlight even more. But only 
the highest parts. We don't want him to look like chrome. He should be a little bit war torn look to the metal. So, I think that's enough for this stage. Now we take pure metal silver <coughs> for the final highlights. Like here in front of the helmet. Part here and down here and done. The silver parts of this marine are now finished. <coughs> now let's go to the final details. So Jerry's now let's start at the details. First cover the areas that need to be red with Macrite Red as an undercoat. I chose uh, the color here for the tactical arrow <coughs> uh, as part of the um, um, chapter symbols so to uh, um, show at what company <coughs> the marine is a red arrow, so should be third company. If the arrow is gold or yellow, second company. Black should be the fifth company, and so on. <coughs> Just look in the Codex Space Marines, and there you can find what color for what company. So. If you want to paint this chapter and you don't like the red on the arrow, just take a different color. <coughs> so. <coughs> I'm only painting uh, the upper part of the bolter in red. So I think it is as a base coat, this is enough. Now we are going to highlight this with blood red. Just put a little bit of blood red into the macrite red for the first highlight. <coughs> so, and now let's pure blood red. Let's take pure blood red for the next step. parts are painted. <coughs> At this stage uh, you can also paint in the eyes. So take again your Macrite Red. Uh, 
<coughs> so, and then you take your 50-50 mix, blood red, black red red, and paint the front part, the front two-third of the eye in this color. So, and then you take your blood red again, and paint it in the very front of the eye. <coughs> so, and then uh, we need the good old white dot in the back. much. That was way too much. Way, way too much. <coughs> so. hmm. That's better. I'm fixing that right now with my red red. So, that's enough. <coughs> so, all the red parts are done. And now let's go to the final details, the gold parts. This time I will cover the gold parts. For example, here the Imperial Ankyla on his chest plate in tin bits. As a nice undercoat for the gold. So, also here, this little skull on the bolter. <coughs> and that's it. Now we let that dry, and then we can go over it with gold. So, the tin bits is dry now, and now our Slightly go over the chest eagle with the gold. Be patient, to don't paint the gold on other parts. more shine with a slight wash of Griffon sepia. So that's what we'll do now. And ta-da! The gold is done. <coughs> now to the last and final details like the backs and here the purities here. So now we will paint this little backs in bestial brown. Although the purities here can be painted in that color. this with a little bit of snake bite leather that we put into the bestial brown. Huh. 
<clears throat> we don't have to be super fancy with this. Remember, you want to paint a, <clears throat> a tactical marine. This is a simple uh, playing figure and not a display piece. And so you don't have to be have to make a super mega paint job. Just make a decent nice paint job. <clears throat> and everything is okay. Now to the final highlight with pure snake bite leather. And then the backs are also done. So while the red on my palette is still wet, I can take it and paint the red part of this little purity seal there. see it very well but it is there so that's enough <coughs> now I will take bleached bone and make a 50-50 mix of snake bite leather and bleach bone <coughs> so and go over it go over the parchment areas of the purity seal. And the parchment is done. <coughs> so we let that dry now and then we will make some inscription work on this. Be right back. So for this you uh, simply need your uh, chaos black. Make it a little bit watery and give your brush a good pointy edge. And then, I hope you can see this, just barely touching, going over it. And that's enough. <coughs> you don't have to go insane with this. That's totally normal. So, uh, that means the marine is finished now. The only things uh, that are left to do is, oh, then we can paint in the border hole while we have the black here. <coughs> so some people uh, drill out the holes. I don't give a shit about this. But if you want, drill it out. So. Uh, now we will make the base. It's very simple. Very, very easy step. <coughs> Just take your white glue. Put a little bit on the palette. Tiny little drop. <coughs> and take your sand. pull it through the sand, go with your finger around the corner so it is clean, get rid of the excess and, and voila, the base is sanded. Let this dry and then you can paint it however uh, you want to paint it. Um, I don't show this in this tutorial, I've shown this several several times. <coughs> paint it like you want. 
ink it uh, with a brown or a black and then dry brush it with different colors paint the base corner so now <coughs> we go for the last thing here your transfer sheet and then we take the wings of fury symbol I know white on white you can't see very well but it is there so simply cut it out <coughs> then we need a little bit water dum -de -dum. and place the decal in the water <coughs> Set and then place it on there. That's it. I will show the end result in a few seconds. Beauties. There we have him. The finished space marine. <laughs> the finished Wings of Fury space marine. I hope you like him. And we see us in the next video. Alexandra. <laughs>